It's been a very long time since I've recorded a video. If you guys like the video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe if you're not already. A couple of things to start. I'm going to tell you guys that um, since the last time that I probably recorded a beauty related video, we've changed our name. So um, it kind of happens with growing up. We went and moved from Glam Laricious to Larita's World and it matches all of my social media. The one that I have pretty much like an entire face that I can use is Hourglass. So I tend to have several Hourglass items. This is what we're going to start with. Even though um, I recently traveled, I went home uh, to Massachusetts, Rhode Island area for about a week. I was up there to visit my grandmother and it was really nice. So this is what's causing all of these breakouts. Um, I think as of today, they're finally like a little bit calm. How are you guys doing? There you go. So this is what it looks like. This is the mineral primer veil. It has 15% SPF, but how are you guys doing? It's been such a long time since I have actually sat down, done a video. I've done a couple of videos on IG one. I've done live. I've done some um, reels as well. Love this veil because, or primer veil, because it has, it leaves the skin super soft. Um, but yeah, uh, don't mind we're in my gym slash like beauty room i could try to change this for the next video <laughs> but this is kind of like taking it back to the basics i've had this channel since 2011 we'll have to make some changes here if you guys are new on here the channel used to be mainly beauty i used to do a lot of diys and all of those videos are still on here like on this channel i'm using um warm brunette brow pencil but i used to do a lot of diys and lots of beauty and hauls oh my goodness every time that i went and i bought something i would always come on the channel and post all of my beauty hauls one of my favorite videos that I actually did with um, a really good friend of mine, Crystal, we know each other from high school, was a, oh my goodness, was it an, a swap? I think it was a swap. And that's like taking it way, way back. I had just moved out here to Georgia and um, we went to high school together back in Rhode Island as well. So um, I think her youtube is miss clarence if i'm not mistaken she may have changed her name as well but these things happen and you kind of like start revamping your channels as you get older it changes one thing that i have noticed and i'm probably all over the place don't forget it has been a very long time but one thing that i have noticed and that i did notice is when youtube initially started like the og youtubers um we're talking about like Candy Johnson, Candy Johnson, I am looking, all right, so the clear brow gel, it's not uh, hourglass, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia because this is like an OG, since we are talking about way back in the day YouTube, but Candy Johnson, uh, Makeup by Tiffany D, uh, oh, the sisters, the UK sisters. Uh, oh my goodness, Pixie, Pixie, I forgot. Sam and, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot. But either way, they are still around. Lisa Eldridge, um, Beauty Bible, Beauty Bible. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I was not prepared to, to have this conversation. But um, yeah, all of these people ended up um they're still around but one thing that i do remember seeing is the fact that i'm all over the place but one of the things that i do remember initially was it was youtube was very raw and then more and more you people started 
coming onto YouTube and kind of like seeing it. this is the foundation stick vanish in golden tan this is actually like a perfect color for me or it was I'm pretty certain it still is because I didn't tan this summer at all <laughs> oh this comes in handy this is also by hourglass this is their foundation brush but what I was trying to say is that after YouTube became bigger and bigger or it started becoming bigger one thing that I noticed is is that it became very you have to be a perfectionist in order for you to record a video okay maybe I'm looking a little light like white but we'll see we'll make this work I was saying so people started to more and more people started coming onto YouTube and then it was more of like a competition thing where people literally had to be the best and beat the best and have the best camera and have um, studio lights and all that stuff. And then everything was about like perfection and the most recent stuff being to the point where I kind of lost interest in kind of coming on to YouTube was seeing so many people have so much drama. Tati was one of the original OG YouTubers as well. And most recently, she was involved within the last year or so. She was involved with a lot of drama. And that's when I was just like, mm, this is not for me. Um, that's a lot. I don't use that much. But what I was saying is pretty much like I, YouTube did become a place where initially it was in an outlet or, you know, like 30 minutes to yourself to like learn for me, at least to learn what was brand new and I've always been that person that truly enjoys trying new products I have a crap ton of um, beauty products so since the quarantine I've slowed down a lot in buying makeup because I'm not going anywhere I'm, work I'm currently working from home and for a little bit I did join a couple of um, challenges so if you guys follow me on ig you guys will be able to see it i was doing a couple of challenges and that was super fun that was so much fun um i made myself a deer i made myself an owl i need to work on the owl situation but um legit it was just my me time all right so now i'm putting some of my uh powder and i just took this right off i took the lid right off and then circling it around all right so we're switching over I literally did not notice that um, my iPad stopped recording so you have a different angle right over here for the same exact video but I am pretty much using um, I didn't get too far but I did start using and I applied the ambient um, bronzer in luminous bronze light by hourglass right here and um, it's a beautiful color it just gives such a beautiful sheen so I'm not putting too much makeup on and I think that one of the greatest things about hourglass that I truly love is that it just gives you such a beautiful sheen it's been a very long time since I have worn um, that foundation so I am seriously looking forward to seeing how it performs now I have you on my phone here we go let's get a little bit closer there we go because I have the I have my mirror right here this is my beauty yes I have my yoga mat 
This is my beauty side right in front of you. And then that's my gym side. This is what we're working with. My house is not as big as where I moved from. So we're doing it. But um, either way, you guys can see the bronzer is fully on. The foundation, when I first put it on, I was like, oh, this is looking a little off. Um, but as soon as I start adding some color, I should be good. Brush. And you're not a YouTuber if you don't on your brush, okay? So, I'm just kidding. Kidding. <laughs> kidding. So all I'm doing is literally patting everything back into my skin so that, you know, when you're packing on powder and I've gone really, really light with powder and the amount of products that I'm using. So that's what I was saying last week when I went out with my friends, it was very minimal. Like I don't even think I put, I'm trying to think, I don't think I put foundation on because I just brought with me, maybe I did. These were the two foundations that I brought with me. I may have used this, the Ilia, which I, it's literally just a skin tint and a little bit goes a very long. I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. I'm gonna get into the bronzer right here and that's gonna be my eye color. I already have a little bit of eyeliner but this is legit the most that I would do right now. And this is exactly the same exact color that I've been wearing. This is super easy and fast to take care of. I do like them to be thicker as well. Like I'm totally loving the thicker brow look. All right, so I just put a little bit more bronzer on here and I'm adding some to the bridge of my nose. So I just add a little bit of like it cosmetics tight line um mascara found them i have um this liquid lipstick this is when the liquid liquid lipsticks first came out um in the color icon which is a gorgeous red color let me just show you guys how beautiful that is um not ready for that but it is beautiful it'll make your teeth look super white and then I have these two. One is in the color Influencer, which is this one right here. And then the other one is in Nude something, okay? So I will go ahead and I will swatch them for you guys. Influencer, so let's see if I can do this. Hopefully I don't mess this up. That's the color Influencer. And then this is in the color Nude. And I feel like this is the one that I use the most because look at how much, um, how used up it is <laughs> they look the same oh my god <laughs> they definitely look the same look at that but a little bit of lip liner by urban decay in 1993 all right that's 1983 and then we're going in with the color. I can't tell. It's nude and then there's like an end something. Uh, I have a feeling that I have a lip gloss as well. By Hourglass. I would love to post some more videos based on what you guys request. So this is the final look nice and it's not overly done like I don't think so I think it looks really nice very natural um, you guys can get the final look right here I'll cover my peloton with my hair 
and then we'll maybe we'll do something like this. Thanks for watching.